So in this video I'm going to show you how to set up a batch render. Um, at the minute when you render out you're only getting one image which is kind of like a preview image. What we want to do is we want to render this out in a batch so it's going to have 24 frames to render. To do that we just go into our settings for the render and we look at firstly um, frame animation extension. At the minute yours will probably be set to name single frame so at the minute it's only rendering out a single frame. What we have to do is <coughs> set that to name hash dot extension so that's going to have name the number of the frame dot extension. Our extension for this we're just going to switch to JPEG. So we can see that our walk is going from walk one dot JPEG to walk 360 dot jpeg um, since we've only got 24 frames I'm going to set that to 24 and press enter going down this is where your renderable camera so if you're using another camera make sure that you select the right one I'm using perspective so purpose is fine and here is where you can change the size so you've got a lot of uh, preset options here um, I'm just going to go for 640 by 480 and that's about it it's going to render the images to wherever your project folder is. That is if you've set up your project folder, which you should do at the very start and set it by going file set project. So mine is going to my project folder in Maya projects and then it's going to save it into the images folder. Once you've set that up, all you have to do is go to the rendering tab here and click on batch render, which is this square icon. Once you click that, small program will load up and that will render the scene in the background giving your results down in this small box here it should take about probably 30 seconds to get going and once it does you'll see it's rendering out I'll pop back once this has rendered out fully now our 24 frames have been rendered out we can see in our images file what we have to do now is convert this into a movie to do this, I use um, a program called FCheck that comes along with Maya. Um, to find it on, on your Mac, it's easy enough. Just go to the search bar and type in FCheck, and it should be the top hit. You open that. Um, all you have to do in FCheck is go File, Open Sequence, um, locate your folder, and click on your first image file. Mine is walk1.jpg and open it up. Automatically, FCheck will gather the rest of the files and play it back to you. Um, if you are playing it back, make sure that you untick every frame and it will play it in real time. And once you're happy with that, just go File, Save as Movie. I'm just going to save mine to the desktop. And call it Walk and Save. This here should be done with no transformations and should be done in about five seconds I would say. And there it is there. Okay so the file size in this, if I can get the info for it, is 26.6 and that's um, pretty big for just a second long. So it's kind of uncompressed. Um, and what you should do is you should use one tube vi free video converter. Just open that. And we're going to use this to kind of just compress it a bit more. So I'm going to drag my video file into that. <coughs> what you should be doing is converting it to a .avi and you can find that in the more section. Okay. Just there. And if you go to the options in that, I'm going to keep the resolution at 640 by 480. Xfit's fine, 30 frames, it should be 24. MP3, it's okay. And all you have to do is convert it. And you'll see that that is only 74 KB. So it's quite small compared to the original file. Um, and that's everything to do with um, batch rendering and converting your files then into um, a video.